I'll tell you one thing, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so used to recording that I li literally nearly started streaming before we were supposed to. We are going to be jumping into ranked play. Obviously, the new season has begun where we are back into Platinum. This season, obviously, we'll probably do this as live streams as well. Obviously, I want to be able to put out a couple of videos of Master Door, obviously, as a recorded series. Uh, we're going to be running Unchained. Yes, I'm running it very different to how people would normally run it with their specific builds. You know, the ones that are very effective. We have similar cards. Skullmeister is a clutch card. Honestly, lab players hate it, especially for rollback. But it definitely does help, especially if you're playing against tier elements, rollback, etc. Um, I could run Kurikara. I always hype up Kurikara. And this is the next hype up card, Skullmeister. Um, I'm going to say, hopefully we can perform it um in this episode anyways i do run super poly just to be able to go into garura star and venom if i need to then i can basically destroy a card and obviously with the effect of this being destroyed you can destroy all of uh, all of your opponent's special summon monsters as well as garura you can destroy and then uh pick up an extra card but anyway let's get into this obviously it's been a while since i've actually recorded an episode from what i remember but yeah hope you're all guys i hope you all are doing well and you're all having a pleasurable day. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to go second. I like, I love the fact that Konami dropped new stuff for the store. But like literally, you just dropped one of the most craziest sets ever. Nobody has the gems to buy Baguska. I obviously fortunately enough because I had enough because of um, the, uh, the event thing for... That is actually comical as hell. Okay. I'm going to infinite and permanence here. Preferably, as long as they do not get the fusion card for Dragon Maid, we might be okay here. Although, realistically, I think we're good anyway. Shio is going to be the problem if it goes into House Dragon Maid, but I'm hoping they don't. Into Striker Dragon, okay. Special summon a dragon made from your hand or grave in defense mode. Okay. Dropping Lorper. So now you can special summon when we enter the battle phase. You bring Lorper out. Potentially. Into Heretic. Seal. Okay. There. Not too much of a problem. I feel like we're in a good position here. <laughs> there we go, the Skullmeister. Right, first off, I'm going to set the trap. We are going to... See, I want to go with Aruha and then destroy the Aruha off of Shavara. So, we're going to go Aruha. Pop the trap. No. Special summon. Activate trap card. No, they have something, they just don't want to activate it. I'm going to bring Sarama out here. It could be an infinite and permanence. Which I'm hoping isn't the case, because what I want to do is I want to play off Sarama. Target the trap card. Okay. So here it is. You can tribute one monster from your hand or field. Return. Uh, we're going to go cool by the grave here. Get rid of the heretic. Or heretic, however you want to pronounce it. Cross out, maybe. Okay, well, no, we're good. There's no monster for me to target as of yet, because... Hmm... Okay, this is not the worst case scenario. Now we can set my trap. Pop the Aruha. Then Aruha's effect can trigger off. Which will allow me to... Well played. Well played indeed. Uh, Okay. Trigger the effect of Shavara. See, I already destroyed the trap, so it makes no sense to go for it again. We go after the Sarama. Because now we can bring out Shavara, and then we can bring out the... Doink. 
To be honest, we could play into Zeus and just clean the board up. Which might not be too bad, unless they have the trap card, which can special summon from the graveyard. But then, yeah. Um... Double cool buy. Damn. Damn. The filth. Uh, okay. That sucks. That is actually a bit of a stinker. Let's try to proceed to the battle phase. Attack. The good thing is this is a fiend, so if I wanted to, I could realistically play into uh, Yama and then play off its effect and then add an Unchained. Um, I suppose I could... Nah, 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 we're good. We'll hold on to it. There's no point playing in something we don't need to majorly play into. Because what I'll do is I'll trigger off the trap, destroy this, destroy that, and then play a trap card face down, which would be the special summon an unchained monster. And then we'll hopefully should be able to play through. Alright, nothing. I don't have to... I'm not going to trigger it off unless I absolutely need to. Preferably, I normally save it for like some like skill drain and stuff, but yeah. It is a bit of a stinker, though. I'm going to proceed to the battle phase and hit for 2,000. Nothing. Okay. I am my turn. Realistically, I'll probably save it for a Dragon Maid monster because I can't afford for an opportunity of Shio to come out. And obviously, they need to control the monster or a monster in hand. And then the problem is Shio's in negation, then special summons house Dragon Maid. And if they bring a monster back and return a monster to the hand, they pop a card on the field. So yeah, we don't want that. This... This could work. The only problem is I only control one Sarama. I need to... I feel like Sarama is very beneficial, realistically needed. Um, uh, we, what we'll do is we'll do this. Uh, to be honest, we should get game here anyway. So tap for two. Punch for 15. And then we trigger the trap. Realistically, you could have done it either way. Like, Rakea, Um, You could have just played off Rakea to destroy the trap and keep Rakea on the field. Ooh... Well played indeed. Except. Like a domino effect, buddy. I could have just cross outed it, you know. But it's all good. And then trigger off. Trigger Rakea. Yeah, to be honest, there's a lot of plays. Oh. And actually, cross out comes in handy now. Cross out designator. Ash Blossom. I suppose that did work in a favor. Remove yourself. Negate. Well, right, we're good. Uh, choices, choices. No, I'm only joking. There's only one card we go for. And then you want the destruction trap again. A lot of the time I tend to go for the destruction trap anyway, just to basically solidify our being able to destroy a card on the field. There are some situations where you are dealing with skill drain. Oh my god, I can't even speak to that. I don't know what's going on. It's like I'm speaking in like a different language. But yeah, obviously I'm, my aim is to hit diamond. If I don't, then it's not a problem. But I feel like I need to kind of get back up on my grind. But we will be playing other games on the channel. Um, but yeah. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Second match in. Let's hopefully get back-to-back -back wins. It's a shame I wasn't able to activate Skullmeister, though. Skullmeister would have been pretty decent to activate. Man, what the fuck is this? That sucks. You know... I can't even say this is a bad deck. I really can't. Because, honestly... No way. Maxi just played through. Wow, crazy. 
I've never had that happen before. Okay. Ash Blossom. This guy's like, what the hell? What is this power? Hmm. Infinite permanence would have been good instead of cross out, but yeah. Um. Wait, wait. Why would you not? I suppose you didn't want to get the special summon off. Um. Okay. Drop the cool boy. Drop the cross out. I need to add Happy Feather Duster. Remind me when I need to do that. Actually, no, 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 no. Tell a lie. I am I have been in... Well, when I played Link Evolution, I used to run Double Cyclone. Double Cyclone was basically... You can pop your own trap card and a trap card or spell that the opponent controls. Very useful in terms of, obviously... Especially with the current state of Yu-Gi-Oh! and things like that. Um, uh, no, we're good. But yeah, that is potentially what we want to be looking at doing... Is trying to pop theirs as well as... Oh, shoot. I was supposed to play Maxi. But then, to be honest, you never know. They might even have Gamma. And I didn't want to play into that. But, yeah. Um, see, is I've seen so many different kind of combos and stuff when it comes to... Oh, this could be a problem. They could lead into Savage. Wait, wait, what? Was that... An... Okay, Springer's Merrymaker. Are we looking at a potential Zeus play here, then? Ugh. This is not looking good. Okay. His cards in your hand field are great. Oh, mate, it might go Zeus. And the problem is, I have no out from this at all. Okay. We'll have to play our trap. We need special summon to prevent him from attacking. We need to prevent the Zeus play. So now he'll be too scared to attack, unless there is a way from him preventing. Okay, we're good. The one thing we need to hold on to is if he triggers the effect during our battle phase, we have to call by whatever they're sending. Bro, what is this, man? Double maxi, double call by. Like, you, you can't even make this shit up. I wouldn't mind if I had a trap card to destroy, but my god, I don't have nothing. This is embarrassing. Alright, let's get rid of you. This is embarrassing, man. Guys, I run a 40 card deck. You know, if it was at 50 or 60, by all means, you can call me out for having a bad build. But, mate, this is a complete different kettle of fish. Um... Therion. Okay, you're going to target. Okay, we're going to call bite. Quill bay. No, we're good. I. This guy has really good combos ready to pop off. I just don't have anything to actually play into. Like, the best I've got is being able to destroy a card and, like. <sighs> This is embarrassing. It really is. Oh, could this... Okay, no. You have your normal summoned, correct? Question is, what do you have? Okay. Fair play. See, I only ever use Sagatama and the Aratama when I'm running um, Exosister. But this is Savage now. Ugh, Infernal Flame Banshee, what the hell? I've seen that card because we packed it, but I didn't really read into it. 
Whoa. Okay. I'm a little embarrassed, though. Like, this is the one thing I hate about recording compared to live streaming. But if you are familiar with me live streaming, you'd be familiar that my luck is very bad when it comes to Master Duel. Um, I, I hate not being able to give a good fight. You know, we're not out. We're not down and out. We still have, you know, pretty much nothing to go with. Oh, that makes it even worse. Nemesis Corridor into Colossal. Is it Colossal or Colossus? And also they have the Pendulum Scale, which sucks. Oh, god damn, I'm in trouble. Sangha of Thunder. You know, the thing that sucks more about this is the fact that Therion can negate. So I pretty much have nothing to go with her. Even if I manage to pull a trap, I can trigger the effect in the grave, but Therion negates and gets rid of itself. But I, I, I just... I've got no comment. I, I really don't. You know, it's very hard. A lot of the times when situations like this occur, I tend to want to end the rec in the recording that that is at one this is oh this is embarrassing all right trigger the effect destroy him across out there you go theory on negate it's embarrassing for a, for an unchained build and i pulled hand traps like everything there we go he negated can I do this? Doink. I'm literally clutching at straws here. I could not str much struggle more than I am right now. This is embarrassing, man. It is. The worst part is they've still got the pendulum scale as well. <laughs> I All I could do is bank that they literally... <sighs> it's game over, man. It literally is. I, I, I don't have anything to go off of. It's insane. This is why I tend to run Rakea and Sarama at more than one. Because at least you've got some sort of doorway. But the problem is with Sarama, it's only good when you've got the traps in the graveyard. You know, a has to kind of set up along with Tour Guide, which I never see Tour Guide. So the main card that sets up the actual combo is irrelevant. Um, okay, here we go, Colossal, the Colossus. Uh, it depends if they overcook. No, 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 they're good. They're good. They don't overcook. But yeah, it's just I'm embarrassed. Like literally embarrassed. Damn. Well played. Okay. So there was a lot of possible combos I could have went with. We have the traps. We have the abomination prison to add a card. We have a soul where if a card's destroyed, you can special summon it, discard a card, pop. We can go super poly, pop. You know, we've got a Ruha, uh, pop. Basically destroy a trap, special summon, special summon another. Play into that. You know, we have Maxi, which we had two of, which did nothing for me. You know, ugh, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not going to say it's bad, but yeah. I have considered running thrust and tactics. I just don't know how I would implement it with adjusting this build. It might be a case that I potentially lead up to a 44 card build, but to be honest, I can't brick any more than I am already. I reckon if I ran a 60 card deck, this is good. Weirdly enough, I'm seeing Maxi a lot, but, you know, no one's actually doing anything for it. Um, okay. I wouldn't mind, I suppose I could normal summon Tour Guide, Special Summon, Fiendish Rhino, play into the Lynx add, and then Aruha pops. Special Summon, yeah. We might be okay here. Depends. 
To be honest, I like to start off with a trap card already in hand so a Ruha can pop and then I can normal summon Tour Guide without the worry. And if there is a negation there, what what the hell is this dude disconnected? The one time I get a good hand and they disconnect. I, I don't I don't understand. I do not understand what's going on. Okay. The one time I get a good hand, they disconnect. Good job. Good job, guys. Good job. Right, let's do this. Weirdly enough, I'm actually going to enjoy playing ranked more, knowing I've got Unchained. Obviously, I've been waiting for Unchained. I was persevering with Branded for a while. Branded is just... It works in its own way. I'm sorry, I've got some irritating bogey up my nose. And it's... You know when you get the... It's like, it's, there's nothing even in my nose. That's the thing. It's just, it might be the hairs tickling my nose, but yeah. See what I mean? Another brick... Mate, this is fucking dog, man. <sighs> Look, the one time... I play up against a deck that special summons a fucking lot. And this is the shit I'm stuck with. Where's... like I, I pull Maxi on decks that don't special summon... And then when they special summon, I don't get maxi. Insanity. Oh, shit. They're going to cook. I don't even know how to get past this. I've been doing super poly. If I can get lucky. Damn. <laughs> oh, it's my turn, is it? Thank you. <laughs> Dane. Um. You know what, actually? That does come in handy. Give me my Stav and Venom. Who is more beneficial... You two. What's Bane do? Bane, Bane, Bane. You attribute one monster. I'm going to activate the effect. And I'm going to target your Bane. I suppose you didn't have Maxi tucked away. It wouldn't bloody surprise me. Oh, thank you very much. This isn't all. If we were only getting the show begun. Zurama. Trap card. No. Pop. Activate. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, and this is why I run super polymerization. And now, this isn't all. I'm coming for you. Yoink! My card! Oh, this is gonna be fun. Hmm. Just trying to think if I can play through it. Because if I go into. Yes, I can do that. Go two, yes, go one. It's his game. Game over. <laughs> Hold up, wait a minute. Wait, doesn't this have an effect if a card's banished? don't know, but even still, banish it. Ow. 
Activate Effecto, destroy. bad. Not bad at all. Oh, you got the protection card. Oh, very nice. Uh, realistically, there's no point in me going after Crimson. Do you already have one in hand? Cool by the grave. Okay. Hmm. This could be a problem. Oh, that was actually a well smart play, that was. You know, going after the ash. I can't use my ash. It's negated. Haha, <laughs> well played. That sucks. Till the end of the next turn, its effects negate as well as the activated effects of... <sighs> nah, you're good. You're pretty much good. Now the question is, can you play through it? I might have to rerun Banishment again, man. Banishment was good. But yeah. The only downfall is... I feel like I played well, considering the cards I was left with in the hand. But realistically, I have no interruption here. The only thing I've got to hope on, as long as they don't banish... Obviously, they they might run the Bestial Package. And if they do, and Druis does come out... I think it's insane how much power they genuinely have. Like, you've got to think, you've got the Bone Dude, Bone Archfiend, you've got the Spell Card, you've got the Protection off the Soul Resonator, you've got the effects of Special Summoning back your Dragon Archfiend as well. You've then also got the effects of their own monsters which reduce and increase levels to then play into the Red Dragon, the Red Rising Dragon. Okay, they're going 8. But now they can add another Spell or Trap, Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a bit of a stinker. Now scarred. Are they gonna go into psychic empire? Nah, they couldn't. Would they? They have so much of a combo, it's crazy. Like, genuinely, it's mental. Like, obviously, I play up against Dan's a lot, and it's ridiculous how much they can actually play off with such minimal cards. Okay. He does realize that destroying Starve and Venom. Each to their own. Man, you got protection again. Oh, Soul Resonator, of course. How annoying, man. Things you would do for your trap card, eh? The good thing is we called by the Scarred last turn. But the Red Dragon Archfiend comes back. What are you going to do? Crash? Scards are negated, right? How many bloody... Okay, adding it back to the hand.
Okay, the crash, that's fine. Now this is where the problem lies. Jesus Christ, man. More effects? It's still going! Okay. But then... That's actually good in a way. Um, I really needed you in defense mode. No, I really needed you in attack mode. Uh, I, I think it's insane that I've pulled Rakea and Sarama and they're both at one. It's insanity. I don't know. I want to check the Red Nova. Well, Red Zone. When an opponent's have to face a card, you control Red Dragon Nova to Synchro. That mentions that you can tag one card of and destroy it. I think it's insane. You can tag one of your banish and then out comes Hot Red. The good thing is... I don't think there is a good thing. I'm just trying to think. Obviously, preferably we'd want to play into the trap. Oh... Uh, Ash here. The thing is, my Ash is going to be irrelevant. It ain't going to make a difference because the amount of monsters that have effects in the opponent's hand and grave. That trap card has to be gone. We have to get rid of that at some point. Like whenever we come to Red Dragon Archery, Red Nova seems to be, oh, not Red Nova, Red Zone seems to be the biggest um, cause for concern. Bro, that's mental. It's special summon despite despite a special summon scarred. They have so many plays, it's insane. The only problem I've got here is yes, scarred will destroy Rakea. All I can do is just hold out. That's literally it. But the problem is because I run less. Yeah, we go Ruha. Then with a Ruha. That's problematic because. Hmm. I honestly don't know how to get past red zone now. Because this is good because I can set a trap card, but... It'll instantly get negated. Off the hot red. It's insane. So red zone seems to be the biggest go-to above everything. If the worst time it could fucking give me it. Where was this about 10 minutes ago? Yeah, it's fine. It's game over. Because hot red win the gate. There we go. You know, unless this guy goes full crazy and full board com... Well, special summons a bunch more, which I doubt he will. It's pretty much wrapped. Yeah, it's pretty much a wrap. I'm not going to lie. I genuinely thought I had it. I thought I was going to dominate over. Clearly, I've mistaken some of the cards. Um, red zone is, I think, it's the biggest threat above everything. So, I need to look at a potential way of getting rid of it. But then also taking that into account, the soul charger or whatever its name is, soul resonator, is annoying. That's crazy. They have. I think that's crazy. You know, literally, if it's normal summoned or special summoned, you can add a level four. But then also, if the card you control is destroyed, you can while well, you control Red Dragon, that's your synchro. I suppose if we played Unchained after the board had wiped from Starving Venom, we might have been able to pop the trap. We'll potentially remember that for next time. But yeah, it's always interesting to see these type of deck builds. Thank you guys for watching, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a pleasure. See you guys next time. Peace.